in uh, pharmacology you have to study the drugs acting on autonomic nervous system in that there are two parts drugs acting on parasympathetic and drugs acting on sympathetic system okay so basically to understand this you need to know <coughs> uh, what parasympathetic system is wh how it works what are the receptors so that you can have some drugs that will target these okay so parasympathetic actually what it will do it will help in resting digesting and eliminating so digestion is not good you can give parasympathetomimetic something that mimics the parasympathetic correct so you have uh, uh, acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter here the receptors can be muscarinic type or nicotinic type there are two types of receptors muscarinic or nicotinic muscarinic will be m1 m2 m3 mainly nicotinic will be nicotinic neuro uh, neuron type neuronal or whatever you can say then nm will act on the muscle okay guys so this much have you understood guys so parasympathetic system will help you to digest understood right this much you understood and there are lot of receptors which are helping parasympathetic uh, neurotransmitter to work the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine and if this acetylcholine has to work acetylcholine needs some receptors the receptors can be of muscarinic type or nicotinic type so if you want to help your patient digest etc you will have to give something like acetylcholine which will go and bind to all these receptors this much you understood similarly there is a sympathetic system sympathetic system is going to help in fear flight and fright so basically if you are in a sudden uh, you know if you are living in the jungle probably or even in the city and you need to escape from that place you know the dog there's a dog chasing you or whatever you know there is uh, some kind of a emergency and their sympathetic system will come who are going to help you who are the neurotransmitters there norepinephrine epinephrine especially you can say norepinephrine now this norepinephrine what it does it will go and bind to certain receptors in our body the alpha and the beta receptors and it will bring about sympathetic action what are these action <clears throat> so basically you can see here <coughs> parasympathetic let us see first parasympathetic okay now currently i am sitting here and uh, recording this video so what and all i need let's see okay right we are looking at the parasympathetic system it will help me in meiosis i am not opening my pupil big wide and sitting here i am very relaxed i need a meiosis only um yes i am digesting i need saliva i don't have a very high heart rate decreased heart rate bronchoconstriction see i am not running a marathon or something correct i don't need a dilated bronchus bronchoconstriction a lot of digestion happening me peristalsis lot of secretions because it has to digest correct and what about my bladder oopsie i have to go to the restroom okay remember parasympathetic system makes you pee 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 i'm going to pee now huh take a break hope you enjoyed the break now let us go to the sympathetic system now in sympathetic system it's you in sympathetic system you are on the road there's a dog after you what do you do what do you need sympathetic system will take care of you eyes are wide open the pupils are wide open midriasis no need of saliva ha huh? heart rate is more you need more blood pumping okay so stroke volume cardiac output is more vasoconstriction why vasoconstriction because there should be no bleeding in case somebody bites you and also blood supply to the skin at this moment not very important you need blood for vital activities like your muscles need uh, blood supply so that the muscles can get more nutrition and run, you can run but vasoconstriction main thing is here the blood pressure will increase okay vasoconstriction because your blood pressure is going to increase you're not going to be as relaxed as me sitting here obviously your blood pressure will increase however the blood supply to the skeletal muscles will increase okay then 
no need to digest now now it is not time for digestion not no time for elimination also so no digestion no secretion no elimination of bladder however you need glucose but you have to run now right so you need glycogen converting to glucose this much you need what else bronchodilation why you need bronchodilation you need more oxygen you need to breathe in take a deep breath and run this much you understood no guys very good now comes coming to the receptors this is where it gets very confusing for students receptors so oh, bloody hell what receptors which receptors increasing blood pressure which receptors increasing heart rate no idea that is why this video we have made now taking you to our window where we have prepared something that could help you basically guys you have heard a lot about each receptor and next to it they will tell you where it exists and how it's going to work <clears throat> however in this we have made a small attempt to put it in the human body itself to locate and tell you exactly where it is so hopefully it will help you let's quickly start with the eye i am sitting here happy i have a constricted pupil meiosis so it is a m3 receptor here you are there running and the dog is running behind you you have dilated pupil it has to be sympathetic so it is alpha 1 is this much clear so as soon as you think i na inside one m3 outside one alpha 1 okay very good move let's move on now bronchus if i am sitting here my bronchus is constricted m3 you are there the dog is chasing you you need bronchodilation beta 2 okay obviously you know beta all or alpha it will be that one she will know. heart heart very important guys this you have to remember okay this video if it's closing at least this much you should know heart rate increases beta 1 because beta 1 receptors are present on sa node av node etc m2 for what for me my heart rate is not increased i am absolutely <clears throat> cool and calm so m2 for me this much is it clear okay so i think this much for now for this video it is enough we'll come back and continue with the others in the next video so in this video how much you have learned tell us that eyes m3 to cause meiosis alpha 1 to cause midriasis bronchus b2 will cross bronchodilation m3 will cause bronchoconstriction <clears throat> heart beta 1 will increase heart rate m2 receptors will decrease heart rate just three points you have learned in this and it's amazing this much if you know we'll continue in the next video okay so i think for now this much is enough come back for the next video there are so many other receptors we will cover only the important ones don't worry